Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here. Happy, um, happy, what is it? Wednesday night. This week being Easter week and having public holidays has put my days right off. Happy Wednesday evening. I have a number of very exciting things uh, to share with you this evening. Um, I am going to wait a few minutes to see if anyone comes in. I hope tonight's feed is okay because I currently am without my mobile phone. Um, my mobile phone's good morning or good evening. It is a special occasion. I got, oh, hold on. I got my pre-order. Hello, Jane. Hello, Miss Espuno. Um, yes, I got my pre-order. It is a special occasion, but I'm without my phone. Um, I, it's been sent off. It wasn't playing nicely, and um, it's been sent off to fix or replace. So I am on uh, one of David's old phones. So hopefully I appear to be coming through quite clear, which I'm very, very happy about. Hello, Maria. I'm just going to make sure I am live on YouTube because I've had to set up a whole phone which, as many of you know, is fun. But luckily, as I was driving home an hour from where I was, hey, Beverly, um, Dava was able to set start setting it up for me without my SIM card. Uh, sorry, just making sure. If I'm not live on YouTube, it's not the end of the world. I'm live on Facebook. And we shall see. I know. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Sorry. I do not mean to be holding you all hostage here. I do just want to make sure my socials are working. Hello, Miss Stacey Booth from down the road. How are you, my lovely? No, I don't appear to be live on YouTube. That's okay. I will share this video later. So it's just my Facebook peeps tonight. So that's okay. I am not going back in to log in and do all of those things. That is just going to hurt my brain. So I have got my pre-order of a select amount of products from our upcoming annual catalogue. So this is the cover. This is all I'm allowed to show you besides the products at this stage. That's it. And I'm only allowed to show you the pre-order products because I do have... I can just go over there. Oh, you're peachy. Enjoying the school holidays, my love? Yes. Um, I may have stayed up and ordered. My order went in at 12.24 a.m. So that may have a little something to do with it. But anyway, so I want to start with our five, not ten, five new in colours. So I've already done some really quick stamping and I've realised four of my ink pads are extra juicy. So I have some pretty dodgy stamping, but I quickly wanted to do some stamping uh, before I came on and they are stamped really well or much better on my Whisper White cardstock. I'm normally up at that stage of the night anyway, Corinne. So, you know, it wasn't it wasn't too much of an imposition because I'm not a morning person. I'm definitely an evening person. Okay, let me get back because I know sometimes I miss comments. So these are our five new in colours. We have Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. So what I have done, I have also stamped them on Whisper White cardstock and I also have blends here which I haven't played with 
yet. I kind of ran out of time. Hey, Renee. So I have very quickly, sorry, I'm getting a text message about my grocery delivery, my groceries that I did online earlier. So these are the five colours, uh, full strength and um, stamped off on our basic white, whisper white cardstock. And then I have stamped each of them. So this is full strength, this is Versamark, full strength and stamped off. So this is the evening evergreen. This is the soft succulent. This is my dodgy stamping with wet, extra wet ink pads, but I did just take my bone folder and push the ink down and on the whisper white I got much better uh, results. So you may spy a new stamp that I have used as well. This is a polished pink, the fresh freesia. Oh, I love this purple. And I'm wearing terracotta tile tonight. I'm apparently mourning the loss because I realised what I put on today it's like oh it's terracotta tile and then we have our pale papaya so that is all five i do have all five ink pads i'm so sorry dinner cleanup is happening in the kitchen and i do have my door open so you're getting the sounds of the house so we have quite a number of products fresh freezer it's a purple it has to be fresh freesia. And I did get, oh, hang on. I can show you. It's on my wrist. I did get a Pandora charm. Oh, no, this is darker. My Pandora charm daisy, but it's in purple as well. But it's not fresh freesia. So I was channeling my purple today. Um, I actually like all five of them. Hello, Louise. Thank you for joining I do like all five of them. Um, I think, so softness wise, so if I start, because I've put them on separate pieces of paper for a reason. So I think automatically these three are great subtle combos. So the soft succulent, the pale papaya, fresh freesia. I also think that the fresh freesia and the polished pink work really really well together and this is a nice clean cool pink there it's not a warm pink it is very much a cool pink i know i'm i'm trying i have good lighting in here so i'm hoping these come off really well I'm really happy that we have a really dark, deep green. So this will be great for Christmas, great for masculine cards, great for trees and nature, leaves. We have so many leaves um, and greenery in our um in our stamps that this will just complement the greens that we have already we were just missing that really dark green as i said the pink we were missing like this will go really well let me grab the ink pad this will pair nicely with flirty flamingo although the flirty flamingo is looking quite uh, not I've got faded stickers on my ink pads but this will go really well with Lady Flamingo Fresh Freesia it's a bit pinker so we'll, we'll go with all our pinks as well um, including Lady Flamingo but I just love it I love purple but you can see looking at them where I have stamped them here all as a group of five, a band of five. They do really work well together. Excuse my scribble, but this is a really good way for me to see them and be familiar. I haven't done my blends yet. If you want me to do blends at the end, tell me now. 
my pre-order isn't huge. Um, the as demonstrators, and if you want to join up now, uh, now, you can get these products in your starter kit. You don't have to sell like I sell. You can just join and receive your discount and be a discount shopper. That's fine. A discount shopper with an account. So you get your 20% off your products. Okay, I will do that at the end. I have the paper. I haven't opened my blends yet. So for the annual catalogue, we only get a selection of things we can order. Now, I do have a wish list. I stuck to my wish list except for two products. One I had missed completely in the catalogue and I only have two stamp sets in my pre-order. One is an image set and one is a sentiment set. So um, I've already given you a sneak peek at my image set. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and show you what I got in the new in colours but show you the blends at the end. So I got all five, I just dropped one. I got and I dropped a separate one. I got all five reinkers because I always buy reinkers when I buy my ink pads because you never know. You never know. And there are great techniques you can do. I also got the in color jewels. So you can see how sparkly those are. They're just scrumptious. I can see myself using so many packs of these gorgeous i got the ribbons oh my god the open weave ribbon i am going to just make a bow and you can see how soft and how beautiful you, you normally don't see my face making a bow. So feel yourself very lucky that you get to see this plate. Yep. Okay. So. Also beautiful bows. Nice and soft ribbon. So that comes in the evening evergreen. The fresh freesia my hand behind it you've got the polished pink and soft succulent I knew I was missing one the pale papaya in the ribbons gorgeous I got all five packs of paper because I run classes I need four packs of paper, but you can also, you will be able to get your assortment of paper. I got the 6x6 designer series paper. So this is the, these are the designs that are available if you signed up during celebration. So design one, design two. Design three, design four, and I'm going to see if there are any more designs. Did I? No, there's just the four designs by the looks of it. So four designs, but you get, in the in colours, you get eight sheets. You get 40 sheets in the pack. So you get eight sheets of everything. And guess what they brought out in the in colours? I'm going to have to. I didn't have it in the right order. Just just have a guess. What, what is my favourite product besides ink and stamps? While I try and get this back in the packet... I'll let you guess what my favourite product is besides ink and paper. That's right. And it isn't just vellum. It's shimmery vellum. 
and it comes in all five colours. See, you girls know me so very well. So it comes in all five colours. I really want to make sure. Can I show the sparkle? Yes, look at that sparkle. So this is, that's a soft succulent. Because I have to show you every colour. Because, come on, why not? You get two sheets of 12 by 12. That is the polished pink. It's such a great pink. Yes, it is 12 by 12, Esther. So exciting. The handsome... Oh, no. Not handsome, Hunter. Evening evergreen. So it looks shimmery, but it is... Yeah. Yes, you do, Esther. You don't just want it, you need it. Uh, what else? We've got the pale papaya. And then, because it didn't want to come out before, the fresh freesia. I'm sure that's what it's called. I'm sure I'm getting the names right. Because you know, new names. You guys will correct me. Yes, Fresh Freezer. Or the Fs. Okay. So, very, very excited. They always look different. And I'm showing you in a video. So, they're going to look different. But they look shimmery. It's like it's been coated with an even coat of Winker Stella. It really, truly does. Now, I am going to try my best to be neat and tidy until I get organising everything. So I have my trolley beside me. Now, I'm going to start with the bundles that I bought. Now, I do need my list here because there's one product that I can't remember what I go... Oh, right. Okay. I knew that went with something. So, we're going to start with pansies. So, the stamp set is called Pansy Patch and the bundle is called... Pansy Petals. So I got the stamp set with my hostess dollars. Yay me. And I want to show you because it is a photopolymer stamp set. And I want to show you the inside of our cases now. So we have a full sheet and we have our images stamp, um, printed on the inside sheet. And I'm hoping I'm back. I know. Haps is what I'm broadcasting from, guys. And... I don't know how good this phone is with going live. So I am trying my hardest. It's This is what happens when my phone gets taken away. Right. Okay. I can now see I'm back. I'm so sorry, girls. So, so, so sorry. I'm hoping... Um, this doesn't happen again. So back to where we were, having a look at the insert. The name of this has now come to me. So we can stick our photopolymer stamps directly to the insert. And when it's closed, it has better UV protection to keep the stamps, um, to keep, to keep the stamps. No, it was technology, exactly technology, guys technology so um yes this these go directly on the backing obviously being a new stamp i haven't got there yet but i will be using uh that feature which i like 
So that's the Pansy Patch stamp set. It does come with a corresponding die, which at this point in time I've chosen not to get because the way my classes run and the way I craft kind of not my jam there are a lot of pieces and a lot of building and I can do similar things with this without cutting them out so that's where I'm sitting at the moment now if you were my little container of goodness you would be here now and there is a storm happening outside so who knows what's going to happen come on missy come on Oh, no, she's going under my computer desk. She's hiding. Okay, I don't know how exactly I am. I am back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Thank you guys for your patience. I had some um, things to set up here on my iPad. So if you are popping in for the second time, uh, please say hi. My phone is now telling me that I'm live on at least uh, Facebook. Sorry, I'm just grabbing down my iPad here while some of you hopefully uh, pop back in. So this is part two of my brand new 2021 to 2022 unboxing video. And I was just up to showing, I've shown off the in colours and I was just up to showing off the first lot of products. Hello, Carol. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Beverly. Awesome. I am back. I'm on the iPad, so I'm looking in different places. Hello, Renee, again. You guys are amazing, and I really don't think uh, YouTube is liking me at all today. Yay! I don't think this new phone, it, this new phone got really, well, not new phone, old phone, got really, really hot. I think it uh, overheated, which is going to make my live videos really, really interesting. I may need to, um, I don't know what I'm going to do because I have to come up with a solution between now and 9am tomorrow, which is when I am scheduled uh, to go live my channel. So at least I know Facebook's working. YouTube is not working. That is totally fine. I will come back just to double check. I'm not missing out on any comments. Okay. Hello, Myrtle. Thank you so, so much for joining. Hopefully the quality of this video is still okay. <coughs> it's still not going to be anything like on my other phone, which has a far superior camera. Okay. So I was showing you the pansy patch. Oh, yes. I was showing you the pansy patch and pansy um, petals sweet or the products I've got out of the sweet good morning Kathy good more hello Kerry um, so I will just go back and show you that I'll take the stamps out that the insert of these are printed on so we can put our stamps directly in the case um, so Stampin' Up! are changing how the uh, photopolymer stamp sets are done. So our new sets will come like this and our current photopolymer stamp sets will be changed over as supplies dwindle. Now the next thing I was showing you was the Bumblebee trinkets. Let me see if I can get some focus here but apparently not so it is a fab idea now these are put it right way round and over here these are our bumblebee trinkets 
aren't they stunning? They are gold. They are 3D, as you can see. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So very, very happy with those. Uh, yes, it is a great idea. Um, so there will be some item number changes um, in the upcoming catalogue. I know, they are so cute. Now, these go with the pansies. So the next thing I want to show you is the paper that goes along with this set. Now, the colours in this paper are Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Pale papaya polished pink soft sea foam soft succulent and whisper white so i am i'm assuming just gonna grab this i'm just gonna grab it out so we have a side b side okay pop that over there oh these are nice a B, and you can see how well the soft sea foam goes with the succulent and the evening evergreen. So that's lovely. This is slightly smaller and oh, fresh freesia gingham. I know Miss Denise will be very happy with all this gingham. And then we have large pansies in all different colours and the polka dot on the other side. Oh, this one's so sweet. Sorry, I'm looking at them before you, you do. So we have a collection of flowers. And then we have those three colours, green in a stripe. Then we have that design again larger, so a larger scale of that design, which would be great for scrapbooking. And then the pale papaya in a gingham on the back. So that is our pansy petals, and that's everything I personally purchased out of the suite. Next, we are going to look at... And I didn't get this stamp set. This is the hand penned paper. So this is gorgeous. This comes with, now I'm assuming I'm saying this correct, genial gems. So these are faceted gems with the glitter encased in it again, like we had in the holiday catalog. Um, and they, the colours. I want to say this is the pale papaya and mint macaron. So it's pale papaya and mint macaron in those. And let's do our whole paper trick again. Though that last set was very pretty, Kerry. So these are beautifully watercolored. So I can imagine and that's the B side. So the B side's a reminiscent style of what we've had previously, but the A sides are definitely something we haven't had before. But I like this one is totally my jam. Look at that. I may be talked into this stamp set, you know. Hey, Angie, thanks for joining. This is nice with the blue in it. So these are very, very usable patterns, which I love. This one is a larger scale. So that's that. And then I think this is the last pattern. And this one is called Hand Penned. And it does cut. There is a stamp set. And I think dies that comes with it. So that's that. 
going to have fun putting those all back. I do apologize if you can hear the thunder. Yay, Bev, that's awesome. Okay, so I got the paper and the embellishments. This next suite, which is called Simply Elegant, um, this also comes, and I've just had an avalanche. I know, but basics rather than the basics, which is good. I think it makes it easier for me to chop if they're basics. Oh, no, Angie, I'm so sorry. So this Simply Elegance Suite comes with some gold and silver trim, which is great. So we've had similar trims before. It's nice they come around in cycles. So I can see myself using that for Christmas stuff, which is great. Now, this is a specialty foiled paper. Now, let me get the name correct again. The Simply Elegant. So we have mixture of foils. So, and, oh, that works well, just having it like that. And basics on the back. And you do get two pieces of each. Look at that. And then, oh my God, the B side, the grey is stunning. Oh, wait till you see all the papers. These are just the ones that are in pre order. They are simply stunning. Simply stunning. And then, isn't that an interesting pattern? This reminds me of Martin, the way he does his pen work on some cards. May have been a couple of years ago now, but that reminds me of um, Martin in the UK. Look at that. I know. Just so stunning and so elegant. And this one, this appears to be on vanilla, which is a bit nice. So I got lots of papers. You can tell I'm totally in love with the papers. And then another really nice grey pattern on the back. These will make perfectly simple, classy cards because the paper does all the work for you. And then all you need to do is to add a sentiment. I like those uh, leaves. I was going to call them feathers for a second. So that is the Simply Elegant paper. The next lot, I only bought the paper. And this is called Beauty of the Earth. But it is a great nature masculine paper set. These smell. The other ones didn't. Love it, chop it. That's exactly right. Hey, Nickers, how are you? <coughs> Please excuse me. So the colours in this are very regals. Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, Merry Merlot, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, and Whisper White. Yes, classy. So these are Beauty of the Earth. It's a very obviously earthy tree background. So this is quite freehand watercolour. Then we have a beautiful watercolour wood grain on the back. So you can see where I'm going with my masculine comments. These ones will make awesome card fronts. Cut them in the middle and you get six card fronts. Oh, oh, nice. We had marinated lamb steaks. Oh, they were so nice and I didn't cook them. Um, so freehand, this is considered the B-side, but seriously. How do you choose with this one? Lucky we get two sheets of everything. Ooh, this one's reminiscent of the pattern we've had before. Oh, my God, the back of this. You wait for the back of this. A whole sheet of clouds. That's so pretty. I have to buy all the paper because it's always different. 
in real life. Okay, and we have these ones. And then we have the night snowy scene on the back. Great for Christmas cards. That's kind of why I got this because it's great for Christmas. Oh, this is a really autonomous um, one. Both sides are very autonomous. So that will be a great scrapbook page. Focal image in the middle, not much else. And then you've got the illusion of trees, but they're not necessarily trees depending on how much you use. But I like the addition of the purple in that. And then we have a grove of trees. So you can use them as individual groves, which is great. And then we have just the watercolour wash on the back. So there is a stamp set and dies that goes with this. Once again, I chose not to get them. There are other things on my wish list. Okay, so next, I showed you that shit. I will show you the other stamp bundle that I got. Then I'll go back. Well, we do have sea and sand, which has sand and water, water on the B-sides, Carol. So the sea and sand is great for water and sand and stuff like that at the moment. But, yeah, the trees, that is a great set. And there are more trees. So this is the Inspired Thoughts Bundle. So this is the stamp set. I love this mix of sentiments. It is a great beginner sentiment set. Nice, classy, again, sentiments. I think this sentiment set will go perfect with that paper, just with the font that it's in. It is quite Art Deco, um, like that paper. And I do love that. Now, these are the dies that go with that. So... They're not necessarily matching, but they do go beautifully with it. So you've got the sea, the sun or the moon, the bushes and the trees. And you can use that as a snowdrift, as a hill, anything like that. And these are called Inspiring Canopy Dyes. And then we have Inspiring Thoughts. And I am losing ribbon off the end of my table so this is inspired thoughts and this is inspiring canopy together as a bundle okay so let's go back to my odds and sods of paper so i did get some specialty paper and this isn't what i thought it would be it is called ombre specialty paper I don't know whether I didn't read the instructions well or what happened. So, does it tell me colours in this? No, it doesn't. But I'm looking in here. No, it's going to tell me in the catalogue, isn't it? It is on page uh, 135. I just want to have a look at the colours, but I cannot show you the catalogue. My demonstratorship is worth a lot more than showing you the catalogue right now. So, Gorgeous Grape, Mango Melody, Night of Navy, Poppy Parade. So, Grape, Mango, Navy, Poppy. Okay. In the catalogue have to show it off while I'm going so this is actually glimmer paper ombre single colored glimmer paper you can see that's a lot more glimmery than the shimmer vellum so this is the poppy parade this is the mango melody and this glitter is not it's not shedding or coming off at all. 
this oh this is no the plain tea oh, that is luscious no the plain tea okay i am going to show you a color combo here this is gorgeous grape and i want to put the fresh freesia with the gorgeous grape match made in heaven good i'm glad i'm not the only one nick and the last the second to last thing that i purchased is something i didn't notice in the catalog at all and i will tell you where it is in the catalog because you'll understand why i missed it so this is our last paper and then i've got two other things to show you so this is called linen specialty paper it's 100 percent cotton oh it's there are two pieces and it is cotton like that is really soft it is adhesive so you can die cut this and i'll just see if i can show you the um texture you can kind of see the texture but it's it's a piece of linen and it's adhesive backed so it is on the page where our whisper white um our basics cardstock is so our black our basic white and our very vanilla is so that will be very interesting also interesting to stamp on and color who knows now because i am not on my phone i am not going to be able to show you um the blends but i've got the blends and i'll show you the blends i know you saw it but didn't order it right okay and now the rains are coming so we have repackaged our baker's twine and we have a baker's twine essentials pack so we have um i wouldn't say smoke smoky slate basic black very vanilla basic white and crumb cake and we do get more yardage on one two three and less or maybe i think you get more yardage on these two and less on these three but it comes as a pack okay and the last thing and i am not going to put one together but i will show you these are our scalloped craft treat boxes so the gold polka dot craft color boxes they look like they will be a nice decent size um the only other thing i got as mentioned is five all five in colors in the blends and i'm going to pop those in my basket and i'm going to recap the in colors for those of you that two three four five okay so i have my piece of paper and my colors because technology is against me today my iphone departed me to be fixed or replaced and my backup isn't up for the job so yes i will be coming back at 9 a.m tomorrow to hopefully make a card and i need a device that is going to point down and i somehow need to connect my youtube which isn't working but we will get this so these are all five in colors stamped on our basic white cardstock so we've got evening evergreen soft succulent polished pink fresh freesia and pale papaya so it's all of them on white now I realized four of my ink pads were very very juicy and that was before I stamped so these are ink pushed away from the top 
these ones are not stamped as well, but you get the gist. So I have used ink, uh, the, the ink pad, the Samark ink pad and first generation stamp, second generation stamped off. So that was a polished pink. This is the fresh freesia. This one is the pale papaya. I know it's hard to hard to get the colours on screen. Then we have the soft succulent, which it'll pair really nicely with mint macaron. And then I have the evening evergreen. So this is the one that wasn't juicy. It was just right. How close is Frisia to Poppy? Okay. Good question, Nick. Good question. Poppy is a lot more pale. So much more pale. I'll do a direct comparison. That's your comparison. Posy at the back, Frisia at the front. Frisia is a lot more pink um, and has, I think it's got more colour to it. So, yeah, actually the freesia totally washes it out because if I put the pink with it, it brightens it up. Oh, did it? Did a colour correction. Maybe I'll show it to you that way. Because when I put them next to each other, it washes it out. I'm going to do this. There you go. It's still really washed out. It almost looks white. Oh, there you go. There you go. Mm, interesting, isn't it? And the colours always react differently next to each other on a card. So thank you so much for persevering with me. I am going to combine both of these videos. I can see myself doing some video editing while I'm watching some telly tonight, um, right here at the desk, and working out how the hell I am going to go live tomorrow morning. Wish me luck. Have a lovely evening. My pleasure. I do appreciate that you guys have stuck with me and came and came back to view the rest of everything I had to share with you. So I do truly appreciate it. I'm glad it was fun. I love seeing all those papers. I mean, I love the two stamp sets I got. Um, but those papers, mm, lots and lots of beautiful things came. Oh, my pleasure, Kay. Yes, thank you for all the luck in the world. I absolutely need it. Sorry, I'm not even looking in the right places. It's like looking at the camera, I'm on an odd angle. It's, it's all really weird. It's all really weird. So, yes, I do appreciate um, you guys immensely. These products are not available till the 4th of May. If you would like to join up as a demonstrator in your starter kit, you can order these products and more from the pre-order list. So that's all I've got for you. I'll be back at 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time. No more daylight saving. That ended on the weekend. So it got dark really early here tonight considering oh, hair past a freckle because I've had to take my watch off because I was using it instead of my phone and I made it go dead. See, technology really is conspiring against me. Love you guys lots. See you in the morning. My plan is to play with um, the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and to make some alternative Butterfly Bijou paper since we can't get it. And the cards that I designed for class use the Butterfly Bijou paper. Oh, thank you, Tracy and Katerina. I didn't realize you were here. So thank you. Mwah. Love you all. See you all. Yeah. See you in the morning.